what the heck is going on coders welcome to your 37th Android application development tutorial in which I'm gonna discuss about grid layouts in Android well what we have done so far is that we just made use of relative or linear layouts but there's another boy in the group known as grid layouts and it's quite handy actually if you make it make the right use of it and uh, instead what relative layout does apart from that what grid layout do is actually it cuts your screen into a bunch of horizontal and vertical lines and uh, it kind of creates a table out of your screen so you can just place individual view in a cell block and uh, pretty much just like how calculators are laid out actually so let's say you are creating a calculator or maybe a game like a, um, like a chess board or you know there's a game known as 204 it um, that game is actually pretty cool you have to just slide the numbers to the numbers just add up in two's powers like two will add with two then four with four to create eight then 16 32 and all the way so my highest score for that is uh, I guess um, around 16,000 the power of two which is 16,000 I guess it's 16,300 something so let me know what's your highest score just try it out it's pretty fun actually no I'm just kidding just continue with this one so what I want to do in this tutorial is that I just want to show you how and how basically grid layout looks like so let me just get rid of this text view and move to design panel right so in design I can just drag this layout though I'm not a very big fan of creating things from here but I just want to show you something which could be more precisely shown from this design layout and uh, where's the button um, okay so let me just go with plain text view so now you can see that uh, pretty much it organizes your stuff into a grid so how cool is that you can see that it shows me a lot of options to drag and drop my element into any one of my column or rows and these rows and columns are actually dynamic they just adjust to the screen width and the available space so for example if I just drop, drop it here you can see the previously the columns were 21 now they are 18 so you know that is how pretty much you create a grid layout and there's some sort of information available here as well that how the grid layout is occupied so that is how pretty much a grid layout looks like and uh, we're gonna make a lot of fun apps with grid layout pretty soon in this series of tutorial only so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick